I'm alive. <laughs> Time to get changed, finish packing, and get out of here. There must have been something in the air because there was so much traffic. It's actually taken me so long to get here today. And I left early too. Anyway, I think I'm gonna make it. I Googled like what time bag drop is and they said 45 minutes before departure. So I've got about five minutes to drop my bag. <laughs> I even made it with literally three minutes to spare, but I went to Mecca and I got my cleanser and I got my beauty loop. So I'm happy that I got to pick up that finally because I never made it to Mecca over the weekend. And I'm, I wanted to get food, but the line was so long, so I'll eat when I get to Sydney because I am excited to get hungry now. It is 8 a.m. Brown too. Where is that up there? Yay! Oh my god, I'm starving. Yeah. It's so hot and I'm like, hmm, I should have moved back to Sydney. No, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> and we are here. I'm so excited. She'll crush it, she'll kill it like, every time she does. So, very, very excited. I'm nervous. No, I'm no, okay. be fine. I'm okay. so fine. I can't wait to show you guys One the TikTok you know. office. If I'm allowed to show yeah, you. Yeah, hopefully. I think, you, I think you will be. Hopefully, we're allowed. <laughs> Started because I went through a breakup. I got dumped and I posted a video of myself crying. And I didn't think that it would go viral. And I was just down bad. Like, I was down so bad that I didn't really care if you saw it. And I posted some other, like, dog videos and, like, other tricks and stuff that I was, like, doing with my dog, but, yeah. like, nothing serious. I post this crying video and it goes out to, like, every other girl who's being dumped as well. And then I've got all these, like, heartbroken girls in my comments being like, I'm running to get some lunch. I don't know if I want Zeus or if I want fishbowl. Choices, choices, they're both delicious. I got a chicken Spartan bowl and I also got chips as well. Can you tell I'm hungry guys? Because I clearly am. I usually stay here and they upgraded me to a two bed. They definitely did not have to do this. So thoughtful. It's been a day. I'm really, really tired. <laughs> this is everything I got from Mecca. I got my cleanser and then all of this was in my beauty loop. So I got perfume, perfume, Dennis Gross, eye cream, Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. It's red though, which I don't wear red, so I'm not going to use that. Hourglass, my powder, how cool, and then an anti-aging cream. I got super, super spoiled. How amazing. I've just been sitting here decompressing. I'm not hungry yet, but it's 7 p.m. I want to eat and start to kind of unwind and wash this hair and sort out my shit for tomorrow because I'm recording. And I'm tired, like I just got really tired. I did sleep decently last night. I think it's just the whole early flight, which wasn't even that early, but waking up at 540 will do it to you. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go grab some food and then we'll come back. It's definitely not as cold as I anticipated, truthfully. I'm gonna take a key, otherwise we'll be bloody locked outside. <laughs> I might go to Woolworths first. Oh, I don't have a bag. Me realizing 
thing. I've had McDonald's, Zeus, and KFC. All in the one day. This is one of the drinks I bought. I've got some water, a coffee for the morning, and this. I think I'm gonna wash my hair in the morning. This is so hot. I just wanna like inhale it. <laughs> I just had a nice hot shower and I've got one, two, three, four, five pimple patches on my face because I'm, I'm breaking out down here right now. I'm going to say it's probably caused by my period or maybe a bit of stress, but what the fuck? <laughs> I can't move my mouth too much because of all the pimple patches. I got my retainer in. Anyway, I'm going to do a bit of work. Good night. Oh. Morning. I woke up at like 4 a.m. confused about where I was. I panicked. <laughs> Had to go pee. <laughs> and now I've woken up and we're gonna get ready. I need to wash this hair, I think. Oh, I'm tired. Oh, I feel better after that. My pimple has slightly gone down. The rest of them kind of cleared up, but that one is still there. It's not ready to squeeze, even though I really want to squeeze the fuck out of it. I'm not going to. I'm going to dry my hair. And yes, I bought my Dyson. I bought my K18. <laughs> I was like, I need to wash my hair on the Tuesday because I just cannot. It was yuck yesterday. So <sighs> fun times. Hair is dry. This is the fit that I've got on. I'm going to do my makeup in here because the lighting in the bathroom is down lights and absolutely shocking. I've got to check out as well this morning. I'm very much excited to see little Franklin because I didn't even see him yesterday. <laughs> My flight out of Sydney is at 5, I think. So, another whole day here. And I'm like, what am I going to have for breakfast? Probably a bacon and egg McMuffin again. <laughs> going to have to put like a little mirror there to know what I'm doing. <laughs> All right. Straightened hair, makeup done. This is my new friend. <laughs> Tried to cover it. Anyway. We are gonna head off, guys. I'm gonna quickly pack up and go to the Amplify office. I checked out and I did get the exact same as yesterday. <laughs> so we have all over the place. Hello, office doggy. Oh my god, he's like, no, bitch. <laughs> you can't pull me. Oh, he's getting the camera. Oh. He's camera shy. We are setting up the pod studio now. I've got, that's not my background, that's someone else's, but I'll get Sarah there and I'll see it here. I'm so excited to meet her. My God, Sarah is incredible, incredible. An absolute angel of a woman. I already knew that because obviously she secured my home, but such a beautiful podcast episode. I then recorded one by myself as well. It's almost like I'm in Melbourne, just recording the pod today. I'm now walking to go and get a fish bowl because I regretted my lunch decision yesterday. You got my usual. How good does that look? It's a little windy out here. I've just been here uploading footage from you guys, doing some emails and stuff. I forgot to show you as well. Sarah brought me a candle for my house. She's so sweet. She didn't have to bring me anything, honestly. And she's just an angel. So I also decided to gift her a Indonis bar voucher because in the interview she was saying how she's like strapped for time, managing being like a mom, a business owner, superwoman. And I was like, you need to go and do some self care. So I hope she enjoys that. And yeah, we need to head off to the airport. Let's go. My Uber just goes to me, have a nice flight. And I go, you too. And he's like, I'm not flying. I was like, I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> My time management is poor. I just dropped my bag and I board in like 10 minutes. I'm going to sleep on the plane. Thank you. Passed out. I just got myself a chocolate snack and a savory snack because I felt like them. I'm back in Melbourne. I slept most of my flight actually. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm just making my way back to the car. I don't remember where I was as well. 
I'm leaving to get off the plane, I stand up and this girl, like a couple of rows in front of me also stood up and she looked at me and she's like, like she recognized me and I was like, hi. And she goes, I'm listening to your podcast and shows me her phone. And I was like, what are the chances? Like that's honestly happened to me maybe three other times when I've met one of you and you've been listening to the podcast at the exact same time. Gives me goosebumps, she was so sweet. And I've lost my car. Okay, wait, let me come back. Hello. Oh, baby, I missed you. Sit down, sit down. Good boy, how are you? Hi. Hello. Oh, did you miss me? I didn't even see you yesterday. You didn't even wake up when I left. What is up with that? I love you, I love you. Gonna have a nice hot shower and try and pop this little pimple because it's pissing me off. It's pouring rain too. I tried to squeeze it and I nearly passed out. That's how much it hurts. It's like a blind pimple. I'm in so much pain, what the fuck? And with that, I'm going to say goodnight and sweet dreams and I will see you in the next video. I am wrapping this vlog here because I wanted Sydney to be its own video. And yeah, I will see you guys. Mm, wait, not tomorrow because this will come out on Monday. I don't know what I'm going to do on Sunday night yet. But if you want to go and watch that video, it's the one before this. <laughs> anyway, have a great week ahead. I hope that you had a nice weekend. If it was a hard one for whatever reason, keep going. I know that life has been a bit difficult for quite a few of us just by reading the comments and things like that. So if that's you, I'm sending you so much love and thank you again for all your well wishes on the rental and getting approved and can't wait to show you guys everything. I'll see you soon.